to my channel. Uh, today we're trying something local, which is really exciting. One of my really cute subscribers reached out and she was like, hey girl, I have this product that I pedal, I'm just straightening you guys out, that I would love to have you review to see what you think. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so flattered, number one. Number two, uh, tell me more. So, she says that she does this as a side hustle, which I totally can really look up to. They are beautiful. She does do customized orders. They look delicious. And I got to choose which one I wanted. She had a lot to choose from. Her and her man were so cute when I met them to pick this up. This is a caramel apple. And I'm gonna be honest, like we were going back and forth and just chatting and neither of us are really big caramel apple fans. Um, but these are so beautiful and I have never tried a homemade caramel apple. So this is going to be very exciting. I, I have to tell you when I would get caramel apples at the store it is around Halloween time, which is fitting for this time of year. I would beg and beg and beg my mom and dad to get, let me get a caramel apple. And they would always be like, no, Nicole, you won't, you won't eat it, which is so true. But I would eat the caramel off it and then have all this apple left. And then they would, um, being the non-wasters that they are, would eat the rest of the apple. And I don't know if you could see this, but this is gorgeous. I picked the animal cookie one, of course. So it is a Granny Smith apple on the inside. Her homemade caramel looks like it's dipped in white chocolate and then rolled in crushed up animal cookies and there's one on top so cute i'm going to pause so i can take a couple pictures of these and we will be right back okay we back can i just say one this smells amazing two this thing is heavy this is my hand and that's the apple this is a big apple it's big it big um a couple things she's got all the flavors in the world <laughs> that you could possibly want. This one is just so aesthetically pleasing, I thought. I'm also drinking a Rogue, just a pinch. Because it's been a Monday. Okay, I also asked her what's the best way to tackle this? And she says, just cut it. So we're not even gonna try, I don't even think I could try and bite into this actually. Should I try? I don't like making it. I, I don't, mm, okay. Let's start with the animal cookie. We know it's gonna be delicious. Mm. There's a person out there watching me. Hi, yeah, okay. Yep, okay, got it. I, I have a window right here, so, okay. No, mm, -mm. All right, we got to go with what you said, Adriana. We're going to cut it. So, fun fact is she said that these will... Shoot. Thick. Um, <clears throat> that they'll last like six weeks in your refrigerator. Holy cow, and she is so right. So this has been in my refrigerator for now two weeks. Okay, here's what she looks like. Oh, I'm gonna get sticky, aren't I? Okay, gorgeous. And now I'm gonna try the outside because it fell off. And that's just what you do when things fall off like that. Okay, I think you all know how I feel about getting my hands messy but we're gonna do it for the vid <clears throat> cheers oh i'm dropping stuff everywhere mm. Mm. Crunchy. Um, 
outside is sweet, but not too sweet. Actually, I'm going to finish this piece. Ha ha ha. Okay, number one, that last bite was way too big of a bite, but I did it. Number two, I am very surprised. Number one, that apple is really good. And I don't even like Granny Smith apples. <clears throat> number two, her caramel is very, not what I was expecting. Although I don't know what I was expecting, but her caramel is very light. I almost would love to see it be a little thicker. Like I'd love to see what just a normal um, caramel apple tastes like because I almost want the caramel to be a little chewier or thicker. You know, I'm looking at this and it might just be because this is what the apple is, but like that's a pretty thin layer of caramel. And even though it was really nice to chew through and all that, like. I think I wanted a little bit more caramel. Is that weird? I don't even like caramel and apple together. That was really good. I also really like the white chocolate and then animal cookies. I mean, you really can't go wrong with animal cookies. This is really good, Adriana. Thank you so much for giving this to me and sharing it with me. Mm. Okay, now for the details. I really like that actually. Again, I'm not a caramel apple person. But I'll definitely finish that piece and I'm probably going to take this part to work tomorrow and force some people to try it at work. But I'll finish the other piece for sure. And I'm, I wouldn't just say that if I didn't like it. But that's actually really good. I think it's a really good balance of that crisp Granny Smith apple. Great apple texture. Um, her man works at an orchard. So whatever you're doing out there in the orchard, good job. Keep it up. Um, great apple texture. Not mealy at all. Very crisp. Not too sour. The caramel is good, although I wish it might be just a little bit thicker and a little chewier, but matching that with the white chocolate and the animal cookie crumbles, chef's kisses. That's actually really, really good. I almost wonder if uh, she does just the caramel so I could just eat it with a spoon and maybe put some flake salt on it. Anyways, um, okay, so some information about her. On Instagram, her username is nana underscore larios so n-a-n-a -N -A underscore l-a-r-i-o-s and it looks like that she's really cute her name is adriana and so some apple flavors are white chocolate milk chocolate cookies and cream which i was really jonesing over too because i do love cookies and cream tamarindo Caramel plain, caramel with nuts, s'mores, which again, I was curious about that one. Reese's, Reese's snack, which I don't know what that is. Butterfinger, caramel cookie, the unicorn, color storm, the circus animal cookie, which is the one I have. The avalanche also look good. It is caramel, milk chocolate, Reese's chips, drizzle in white chocolate and pecan. Oh no, pecan is a separate one. She does take requests on new flavors and will make it if possible. Um, so prices for these apples, uh, let me see. Prices for apples are four apples for $20 mix and match or $6 each. So I would assume that you could pick any four for 20 bucks, or you could just pay $6 each, which is great. Uh, she is making mini apples. So let me see if I could find the mini one for you. No, but I want to believe that that's the apple that she gave me, but I'm not sure, but I'm just going to believe that it is. Um, where are the minis? 
You can kind of see in that picture in the upper corner there, the little minis. But I saw them and they look like almost little rocket apples, if you're familiar, like little um, um, crab apples almost. It's probably a third of this size, which I find very cute. Uh, today was her trial run of the mini, so look forward to that. Oh, she also does chocolate covered strawberries are $25 a tray and they come with 20 to 24 strawberries, milk, chocolate, and white chocolate. Call. Uh, milk chocolate for the strawberries, milk chocolate or white chocolate mix, or I can do all milk or all white chocolate. Oh, she also adds 10 to 12 chocolate covered grapes. That would be interesting. If you like specialty berries like nuts or cookies and cream toppings added to some strawberries, it is $28 a tray, which is phenomenal price, I think. Oh, she also does mango trays, which I've seen where it looks like she skins the mango, puts, it looks like chamoy and tahini on it. And then I think that she serves it, is there a picture? Looks like she serves it with hot Cheetos and then some extra chamoy and tahini on the side. So you can do that. Oh. So the mango trays are $15 for two mangoes. Oh, $15 or two mangoes for 25. They come with a tamarind mango, three different, oh, three different types of Mexican candy, Japanese peanuts, chamoy tahini, and hot Cheetos or Taki chips. Wow, okay. Uh, and then she also has a grapes only tray. So basically, oh, last but not least, she does snappers. Uh, snappers are pretzels and I drizzle my homemade caramel on them and drizzle milk chocolate on them also. Okay, for $15. I don't know how many come in the 15, but that sounds pretty tasty to me. Anyways, go and check her out. Again, Nana underscore Larios on Instagram. You can DM, DM her on there. She is very quick to respond. She is a doll. Uh, again, this is her side hustle. But Adriana, thank you so much for the circus animal cookie apple. I loved it actually. Um, I am so excited. Oh, that was just a caramel. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I was so excited when you reached out to me and meeting you in person, you're just a doll. And thank you so much for uh, the apple. And I just feel so appreciative that you wanted to reach out to me and to come and meet me. And thank you so much. And I hope that you guys go and check one out. If you do, make sure that you uh, comment below. Let me know which apple that you tried and which one I should try next. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video and we will see you next time. And thanks for joining, bye.